All right. Good morning, cultists. Don't mind the microphone downgrade. I'm going to be AFK for the start. Just getting it set up so you'll have something. I was off yesterday due to uh, kidney stones, it seems like. Not a good way to start the day, but it looks like the uh, stocks played out pretty good overall anyways. So that is good. Good morning. All right. Yeah, just setting it all up for you guys. I'm going to go out and grab some groceries since I didn't. I haven't gotten food in like three weeks, so I got to get on to that. Why my health is feeling sort of okay. But uh, yeah, yesterday was good. Nothing like kidney stones to start the day. Oh. Well, hopefully it's kidney stones. Yeah, I wasn't here yesterday. Uh, I w woke up and I decided to shoot some blood out of my pee. And then I'm like, that's not good. Looks like it was kidney stones. Not bladder cancer. <laughs> good. So anyways, uh... Good games. I guess I'll just wait till uh, the market opens, so everyone's here, and then we'll I'll take off. Oh yeah, I'm fine. I just wanted to get it checked out. Uh, whenever you have any form of bleeding, you have to get it checked immediately, because uh, if you bleed out, you're done. Now, luckily, the blood's on the inside of you, so it's not so bad. But uh, you never know, right? So, yeah, and I mean, I wasn't feeling too bad, so I know it wasn't severe, but uh, if you have internal bleeding, it can turn in severe. So, and the Canadian healthcare system so damn slow. So uh, you want to be in the system <laughs> as you're dying or things get worse. Yeah, you don't want to show up as you're dying. Uh, it's it's not um, it's not due to sitting or anything. Uh, I'm I've been a computer gamer as long as I've been alive, so I can sit for like 15 hours. Uh, but no, I just have underlying health issues that cause uh, like undue stress. It releases stress hormones, which is why I got to do everything in the morning because they're the same hormones that uh, put you to sleep. So it's like, oh, great. So as nighttime comes, like 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, my body starts to break down. But uh, the kidney stones, that's something new. Turns out uh, drinking coffee and eating spinach are two things that cause kidney stones and are like 80% of my diet. <laughs> but it's all good. So I'm going to go grab some groceries, um, which won't take too long. Um, but we look like we're in good hands here. And enjoy the stream. Put it up on your TV. Leave it in the background. And I'll be back. Yeah, coffee is good for your health to some extent. 
but uh, the thing that causes kidney stones are oxidites or it's not oxidizers but it has a name like oxidites and they're the same things that actually prevent cancer <laughs> which is why you know coffee is good for you and spinach is good for you because um, they help i believe remove free radical oxygen which is leading cause of most of your problems but they cause kidney stones. So it's like, eh, you win some, you lose some. At least I don't have cancer. So, eh, suck it. All right, I'll be back, and I will see ya.
All right. Back, done, and everything. Okay. Yeah, you're going to be on shitty mic today just because I don't want to set up everything. Okay. Let's take a look at what transpired. Ooh, 5% surge on open, holy. And we burned off all of it. Not too bad. Excuse me. One second. I just chugged like two pops, so I'm gonna be burping a little. Yeah, it's not bad actually. Not too bad. We didn't test new lows. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I know. I don't know the personality of yesterday because I didn't watch it. But this looks pretty good. Um. So you had a nice run up here, but it brought you a little too high off the ground, and then there was a bit of a oversell here. And then that led way to an, a definite oversell here. So I would say any point above this line is a good buy point. And then you'd probably want to sell at this line. But we should be heading up to at least 47.21. And then your definite sell line is 45.47 because it will drop if it gets below there. So. But yeah, this dip should be pretty good. That was big doing lately. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. I got all my money back. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen. Perfect. Oh, that's awesome. So I did a covered call saying that it wouldn't go up to uh, 10.50 by Friday. And what are we, Tuesday now? Wednesday, okay, I missed a day. Yeah, and I'm now up that money and recovered all my dollars from big. Uh, sweet. So I'm rolling in dubs today. Yesterday was a good day, it looks like. Holy crap, look at it go. In the last hour, it gunned it. Jeez. Anyways, cool. I am up a considerable amount of money. Life is good. So yeah, so for AMC, uh, you got a little uh, llama here. And llama, there's his back. He gets a little saddle. There's his head. So this should take off. This is a good, um, a good shape. The llama, which is usually uh, green here, red here, red, then green again, then a little bit of red, then a little bit of green, and then it takes off usually, and then that gives you your your llama. Yeah, but the reason this is good, it, you have kind of an M shape, and then you go into a bull flag basically. Um, but because this part, they were unable to make new lows or unable to do anything, then they finally succeed, but they're unable to make new lows. They go down to the original point, although this one you see doesn't even get there. And so that shows strength, a lot of strength of green. And then you get the run up because they're unable to go low. And the run up exceeds the back of the animal, right? And then that lets you know that they broke channel on a run. Then there's a little bit of wiggling while they breathe. And then it usually takes off again because it's going to make a power shape. Yeah. 
sometimes it fails. I've seen it uh, in the eye of the llama, so like the middle here. I've seen it bleed out. <laughs> that happened back in February. But uh, for the most part, uh, this is about to break out. Like any minute now. Yeah. Yeah. My comms is on. Yeah, my comms on. Okay, good. I wasn't just talking to myself. <laughs> good. You can hear me. Yep. So just uh, play it tight. So you want to sell if it gets below uh, 46. So that will be your your play. So I'll do a, I'll do a marker for you and we'll follow along with you. So you got in here. And your get out point will be here. Okay, and your other get out point will probably be, well, could be here, 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 or here. We're going to go with, let's go here. Let's see. So be prepared to sell if this goes a little lower. But it should, it should continue upwards. So it's testing the worry line, but it should bounce. There's the bounce. If the bounce doesn't get any height, you could also bail. So far, so good. Hmm, that's not good. Oh, what you gonna do? It's, it's thinking about it. What does it look like on the ticks? Eh, it looks pretty dead on the ticks. It's 50-50 now if it's going to go up. It's touching the worry line. No great green response. Oh, that was a decent push by green. And followed up by heavy red, heavy, heavy red. And green should push this back to the line. And then you might want to bail out. Woohoo, look at him go. Ultimately, it will still go up in the long run. So I'd bail out now and then buy back in when it gets uh, down here, uh, 46. So that one's not going to make it. So we bailed out here. Or even if you haven't pulled the trigger, you can bail out on this green. You might get, a, might get something out of that. Either way, find your exit. And we'll buy back in this way. Where is this? This one? This one. And we'll buy back in here. Mm. Gap fill at 44, 45. I don't know what you mean. This? Yeah, th this if it falls, yes. But it has to get below the low for today, which is uh, 45.72. Oh, this one might. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. It's it's defying going down. This is why day trading's you know a little bit of difficulty. It's back on the line. It looks like it's gonna push, but I don't trust it. I don't know. I'd still get out at this point. It's too risky. So here it could have had a breakout and it just dropped. So. It was supposed to take off, didn't do it, and then red just pummeled it. 
green supported it from going down lower, but until it shows promise, like gets right back up, I wouldn't buy in, wouldn't trust it. Well, if you're already in, I would stay in. If you got out where I, when I said it was going too low, then you're waiting for a better buy-in position. But if you held, then continue to hold. It'll probably go slightly a bit up, and then you can you can bail um, somewhere in here. I don't think it's going to continue up before it goes down, though. but we'll have to see. Like you can see the weakness, right? Like see how small the little uh, candles are. So it's unsure if it wants to go up or down. And then that's usually when red's going to pounce. But if you look at the ticks, green's pushing pretty hard and then red comes and slaps them. So th they're almost neutral at this point. Yeah. Yeah. But see, it's not even going anywhere. So red's got all this opportunity and it's not going anywhere. So it's really hard to call. Neither party is able to move the, the needle. And you can see the ticks, it's going crazy. It's all over the friggin' place. Looks like red's gonna win, though. Mm. So if you can get out at neutral, I'd get out. I still don't like it, even though it may go up. I don't like the position right now. So I would be out. I'd buy back in at 46 if we get down there. It does look like the overall picture, though, is going to be up. This is a relatively good uh, setup. But these candles tell me that it's probably not going to continue going up. Yeah. Now, big is up 13%. Where's big? Yeah, big's up 13% and climbing and burning off a little. Okay, I'm going to close my position on big, take my profits. Okay, big is closed, boom. All right, extra two grand in the back pocket. Pays for groceries. Okay, so I'm gonna wanna buy in on big when it hits 10.13. Or if it gets over 1131, how many percents that? That's eh, 3%. All right, let that ride since I don't want to be looking at that today. Yeah, so there's the breakdown. <laughs> That's good, man. I'm glad to. 
glad to uh, be here. The AMC is not moving because um, it, it wasn't, didn't know what to do. You can look at the ticks and you can see it was just violently fighting over a flat line for the last uh, five minutes. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see what's in the mail. Yeah, that was uh, that was big a second ago. I just checked on it because I wanted to see if it was a good position to get out. So my sister's union just had an election. None of the uh, positions were contested. <laughs> no one wants to be in the union. <laughs> oh, that's great. You know, your union's doing well. When no one wants a cushy job. This very second, I would probably stay out of it, uh, Carson. Until it gets either 46, 56, or it gets down to 46. It has to go up or down before I know what's going on. Unless you really want to risk, there might be a breakout coming right now, but I can't say for certain. The risk of it going down is, is quite high, too. Yeah, see? If it breaks this line, it's going to plummet. And then you could buy the bounce if you're day trading. Oh, wow. Oof. Germany took a 1.3% hit. Wow, what a push. And that wasn't even a lot of volume. Is this a low volume day? What are we at? 50 million by... No, it's... Whoa! What the hell? That's not even a lot of volume. That's only 10 and 15s. So red must not even be there. To move the needle that much with so little volume? That's crazy. Which means this is going to get crushed as soon as red wakes up. I don't know what normal schedule is. Jeez, that's pretty nuts. And that's low volume too. Both of those are relatively low volume. It is just on all over the place today. Well, normal is consistent or it follows technicals. Right now you can see there's a, there's a fight going on. There are a lot of zigzag versus continuation patterns like that push was uh quite strong for what it was yeah like that's a good sign but they're not in a good position now so that's just a weird a weird push Ah, yeah, got out when the getting's good. Should have got out on open, but I w wasn't looking at big. Yeah, so this one looks like a dangerous roll. So this one looks like it's going to do this. 
because you had your parabolic, your crash, and then you have your recovery and then your roll. And then this is where it can start to do its own thing. So it starts to do its own thing, but then it's losing steam. So it runs a risk of rolling. And then it'll test the bottom again. And then if it breaks the bottom, I'm buying it on discount Tendy Tuesday, which will be a Thursday because <laughs> I missed a day. Yeah. Oh, looks like AMC is going to try for a breakout. Okay, so if it gets over 4650, you could buy in and then you would get at least probably half a percent. It's looking better now. Okay, so it broke out from that pennant. It saved itself from oblivion. Now it's thinking about a breakout. So the breakout should happen at 4650 if it gets there. Hmm. Good point, Lebroni. All right, so now it should start a breakout as soon as it hits 4650, which it's resisting, but it looks like it might be going there. Where the hell is the... There we go. I need to see the ticks. Uh, just to see what the hell's going on. Yep. Yeah, it's going to push. All right, let's see it. Yeah, it still looks like it's going to push. As long as we don't get a huge red. Huge green. There's the push. Bam. Like fucking clockwork. Almost like I know what I'm fucking doing. All right. So as long as this doesn't come back to 4644, you're good to go. It should take off. So this is what should have happened back at 11.14, right off the llama's nose. But for whatever stupid reason, you know, we had to go through this. And it was pretty close to going south. But uh, whoever did this and whoever did this really saved us. And now we're on the upswing. So if you got in just for the pop, you would be in here. Would have got in, say, here. Okay. Copy. Remove. Paste. Okay. Good. So we'll go with that one. So your bailout point is going to be pretty tight as well. It'll be the bottom of this green, which is 6440. And we should be good till... First stop is 6462, which is where we are now. And next one will be 4707. And I think this is the one that's going to give us trouble at uh, 4747. But let's let that ride. Oh, all right. Not bad. I'm glad I learned how to day trade.
It's a good skill. Jeez, I talk to my cousin like once every three years. Last time I talked to her was 2019. She just sent me a message and I'm like, oh, when's the last time I talked to her? About every three years. Damn. Oh, starting to challenge your money. Hasn't got there yet, though. Looks like it's going to continue. And I guess you would bail. So that's 0.9% you would get. All right, so I'm out. I would have made 0.9% there. Yeah, this one was a little too strong. It's okay to have a roll, but as soon as it goes over the 50% mark, if this one doesn't recover, that's, you gotta go. Yeah. Now it's gonna bounce somewhere. So now that I'm out, I have to get back in. But let's see it turn green before I get back in. Okay, so this has to hold and I need to see another green. Are you gonna hold? Mm, you're getting too much too quick. See how red responds. Jeez, someone just dropped a bomb. So the problem with these kind of huge drops is they're artificial. So as much as it looks good, and it sometimes sets off the run, you can't trust them because red can easily destroy them because it's low volume pushing. case in point see it's exactly what I was talking about <clears throat> and see that comes from experience that happens a lot of times now this pushback is nice it shows that green was just letting red but it's again low volume so unless if the volume shifts up the, the personality is going to change. The battlefield is going to change. So it makes it difficult to play. You have to worry about if some bigger fish or even a small fish with a lot of money comes in. You can fuck up everything for better or for worse. Since uh, we're relatively low volume. Hard to tell where this is going to go. That pushback was good. And we got like almost a pennant here, and you got a channel here. Yeah, I don't know. 
I guess I'd buy back in if it gets over 46, 67. If not, let it go. No, nothing's ever safe with the stock market. Okay, so now you're looking at a second push. So you could get in now. And this has a high likelihood of breaking out. If red completely defeats this green, then you don't want to be in. So if it goes over this white line, it will run. If it goes over the other white line, it will go flying into the pits of hell. So, let's say I got in here. And we're going to make some money. Since I missed the sell point on the last one. Here we go. Boom. Okay, I'm going to get out early this time. That's half a percent for me. Okay, I'm going to buy back in. Okay, I'm going to sell on that one too. Buy back in. This is hypothetical, yeah. I can't trade this fast and do the stream. I trade this fast when I'm not doing the stream, but to talk to you guys and execute trades this fast, I can't do it. So, but this is exactly what I would be doing. Holy Jesus. <laughs> that was not a good sign. Whoa. Someone just dropped a nuke and a counter nuke all in the same second. <laughs> Shit, let's take a look at that. Okay, that's lag. It was just lag on my chart. Okay. Good. Yeah, someone basically bought 30,000 and then someone sold 10,000. And it just went chunk, chunk. Okay, so then I'm closed all my positions and I would have ended up with 45 plus 26. And this one. Oh. This one I can keep. So 26, 45. So that's already in the bag. So 4, 5, 6. So that's 72%. And then this one, it's on the fence. This one I have to play tight. If it goes below 4681, I got to get out. But the ticks look like it's going to try to go up. Yep. Oof. Damn. Somebody's just throwing the bricks. It's like it goes up and then red's like whack, whack, whack. <laughs> like get back in your hole. Alright. Fuck it. No? Come on, green. Push. I don't like it when it pauses, when it gets thin, because you're just asking for red to friggin' karate chop it. That's why I'm always quick to sell. It's to avoid the red karate chops that are lurking in the distance. Sometimes you sell too early, but you dodge a lot of Mack trucks and bad things. All right, fuck it, I'm out. Okay, so on that one, I would have made uh, nothing percent, 0.6, nothing. 
Right. I don't like the position when it hangs like that. Two fifties, nothing, man. Whoa! And there's the karate chop. You see? You see? That's my skill, is avoiding those things. <laughs> I could feel it. It's not often, though, it, it shows up a second after I mention it. But that is what I dodge with great skill. Because I've spent six years losing money <laughs> when I first started trading. Ugh. Oh, shit, I forgot to put the eggs in the fridge. Ah, it's good to have the wireless headset back. Get in there. Get in my belly. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. Rips. Actually... I'm gonna have a champagne. Oop, that's pineapple. Got myself some more island soda. I think uh, fake 200 something dollars I would have made. Oh wait, a thousand, yeah. Good for a celebration. It's also uh, good to note that you don't have to win them all, right? All you need is a change in position. So the stock can be down 20%. Who cares? As long as you don't ride it down 20%. You know, you're just looking for the rebounds and the breakouts and the whatever. Mm -hmm. um, Island Soda is uh, distributed by Grace. You would see it in some shitty grocery stores. Um, but the champagne one is really good. Cola champagne. It's a mix between like cola, like true cola, and uh, um, root beer or cream soda. So it's, uh, it's neat. I don't like cream soda because it's like drinking bubble gum. But this is a, a very mute version of it. Hmm. Here I'll I'll bring it up here. Um Yeah, so this company and it's this one this one Ah, this one. Cola champagne right here. Yeah. This one's really good too. And the pineapple one? Oh. Oh. Oh, I've just bought the pineapple coconut. Oh, I haven't had this one before. Oops, I bought the wrong one. I thought it was pineapple and then the French. I ended up buying pineapple coconut. Coconut water. Coconut cola is not bad. Um But anyways, yeah. Jamaican born, Toronto raised. Oh, they got a two liter of it? Fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Walmart doesn't stock that, but I'll take it. <laughs> Sweet. Wanna... Let's see your story. Yeah, Grace Kennedy Group is the Caribbean's largest and most dynamic corporate entities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, La Fée is their other product brand for in French territories. La Fayette. Anyways, shit's good. Belize. Belize has a big Caribbean community. Wait, I have a funny feeling I don't know Belize, and I should. 
Oh, yeah, it's okay. I was going to say, I'm like, I got this wrong. Yeah, it's right beside Guatemala. Yeah, Hattieville. Of course, it'd have a big Caribbean community, right? Rio Bravo. <laughs> Little Belize City. God, it's smaller than my neighborhood. <laughs> I mean, you could come down here and buy up, like, a hundred miles of land. So Belize has a contested border with Guacamo uh, Guacamala. Guatemala. It looks like. Is Belize a breakaway country? When did this happen? Don't mind me. I'm just going to, why the stock is going down, I'm going to learn about Belize. Nineteen sixty four, independence from the United Kingdom. Okay. And let's see here. CIA World Factbook. The CIA does have a very nice world factbook. Especially when you need to know about the bad things about countries. Police. Uh, let's see here. Military and security. Okay. Guatemala persists on its territorial claim to approximately half of Belize, but agrees to the line of adjacency to keep the squatters out of Belize's forested interior. Okay. And Belize and Mexico are working to solve a border issue since 1898. Hmm. Human traffickers. The tier two watch list. No investigations, prosecutions, convictions of government employees were reported. But they're at least trying. And they ship a lot of cocaine. And they launder money. But who doesn't in the third world? Hmm, not too bad. So as long as you're not a hot girl, you could live in Belize. And half their country got wiped out by COVID. <laughs> they consume no natural gas and they export no natural gas or import natural gas. <laughs> All right. What do they do? They import four, th uh, yeah, four thousand billion. So that's four trillion. Uh, or is that blue barrels? I think I can't tell if BBL is blue barrels or billion. It's a Brazilian butt lift. Okay, well, uh, that's not what I'm looking for. Let's, yeah, so this is an oil barrel. Fluid barrels, BBL.
cranberries have their own barrel? Hmm. Okay, yeah, blue barrel, blue barrel cactus. BBL is one barrel. Thousand barrels, giga barrels. Okay. Okay, so it's actually literally BBL when it's lowercase is one barrel. Yeah, everywhere else in the world, they use cubic meters instead of oil barrels. But, you know, the states. <laughs> yeah, they were using whiskey barrels is how it started. Fish barrels and whiskey barrels. Okay. Barrels of liquid per day. BOE. Yeah, barrels of oil equivalent. Yeah, okay. Well, good we sorted that out. So they uh they bring in four thousand one hundred and sixty one barrels a day. Okay. Nice. Well, that was a nice side jolt. Why the stock recovers. All right, so this would be an okay buy-in point. Probably the better one would have been here. Hmm, I'm going to let this roll. Okay. All right, let's do that. My screens are going to get a little wonky. Got to go check in on our AMC theater on Mars. Me and Dr. Kill, Dr. Overkill have been uh, working away on Mars. Um, oops. I accidentally joined the game before fixing the resolution. It's going to be a few minutes. Do enjoy this cola champagne. Not bad. I don't know how people drink cream soda, though. Just nasty. Okay, uh, now I'll be able to fix my screens. Set the game to medium. And display, set it to windowed, 19, got to bring it down from 4K, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, and it usually costs a dollar a bottle. Yeah. I would like to buy it in the two liter. That would be awesome. That's just nice to have something for a change. I don't generally like sugary drinks. I drink a lot of pop, but it's always uh, um, diet. Yeah, I had um, AMW yesterday, and I'm like, frig, this is so good. And then I'm like, oh, because it's cane sugar. I'm like, yeah, soft drinks are great when they're cold and full of sugar and you're hungry. But yeah, I haven't had a sugary drink in a while, so... Okay. All right. Well, Dr. Overkill is either sleeping or some person's wishing me good luck. Though it's weird that he sent me a smiley face. Probably hitting on me, but uh, I'll take it. Oh, wait, there's Dr. Overkill and his corpse. <laughs> hey, Dr. Overkill. I thought you were in, in your chambers when I last looked. All right. All right. Do you want me to direct you uh, to where your uh, or where the ship is, or did you find it? All right, let's go. So me and Dr. Overkill here, we're exploring for uh, minerals. This is our old iron digger area. And then, oh, I lost him. Where did you go? All right. Well, I don't know where the doctor went, so I'll wait at base for him and I'll watch the stocks. Okay. So let's see if I can get some money out of Big today. Ooh. Ooh, look at that breakout. I should have set an alert. Very nice. So it should have rolled, didn't, and then they floored it with volume, so they they pushed it. But I would have wanted to get in at eleven twenty nine. Could have made an extra two percent easy. 
I would have missed this one unless I saw it. Uh, it looks like it's going to go for another round. It's a great push. Mm, tempting. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to bite the bullet. Actually, you know what? No, I'll let it go. I want to space engineers. It's going to come back down and I'll buy it a better price. I'll let that ride. Okay. AMC is about to break out again. Should pop if it goes over that blue line. Okay, so apparently Dr. Overkill knows where the car is, even though it was hidden five kilometers away. He managed to find it.
Okay. This is where I left off, building the car. Yep, yeah, Overkill's playing with me in space. We're going to build a large AMC theater soon. Right now, I'm just, uh, I rebuilt the engineering, and I'm just going to start to um, space proof um, or uh, get atmosphere inside. Did a pretty good job of condensing down, I think. Looks good. Yeah, I needed a little break from uh, all my civic tech. So I'm like, you know what? I'll play some Space Engineers. And then yesterday I spent the whole day in the hospital because Canadian healthcare is slow. So it took like eight hours to uh, get blood work done. It's great. There's your breakout. <clears throat> Good stuff. Now, if that's going to hold or not, it's another question. Oh, you might get a secondary breakout. So that's going to be... It's going to be at 46.93. So if it gets past that, which it just touched almost, yeah, then you're going to get another... You're going to get a run up that will take you to probably 47.20. Oh, and that's going to happen now, it looks like. All right, let's put a buy in for there and a sell at here. Okay. And a loss there. Okay. So we'll buy when it crosses that line. <laughs>
Are right, you currently listening to the stream over, Kale? Are you on the stream? You just shake your mouse. Or keys. Guess not. Yeah. Okay, that's a no. Okay. Okay. All right, so that's good. Oh, he is on the stream. How is that a yes? <laughs> You you shook back and forth by crouching. <laughs> That's a yes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I totally saw no with a crouching. <laughs> uh, okay. And any... Yeah, it's all good. Uh, I've communicated with less. People are like, "How if we ever meet an alien species, how will we ever communicate with them?" And it's like, it's not that hard. Just gesture. I thought that was a nod. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Yeah, that is an insider hack, uh, Freedom. It is true. I did that once when I had a massive panic attack and I had no idea. I just stopped breathing and I couldn't realize I couldn't figure out what was going on. Yeah, they're like, "Oh, it wasn't life threatening, so you owe us 50 bucks." And I'm like, "Okay." But I was in and out in like 3 hours. It was great. I'm like, "I'll pay 50 bucks every time if possible." Uh I don't mind a two-tier healthcare system. Phono, I don't know what phona, I have no idea what you tried to write. Okay, so I'm going to stay in on my bet. Yeah, that's it. The points don't matter. Exactly. Yeah, I'm here to make money. It's what I normally do. The stream is just a side effect of, you know, helping other people out. And I'm here to make money. That's why when people come in and start trashing, I don't give a crap. I'm not here to make YouTube money. Or whore myself out or play games and hype it's children. Ain't nobody got time for that. Hey, it's my name. Speak of the proverbial devil. Uh, we don't need much more gold. Gonna need a lot of iron to get this space worthy. We'll probably just take this baby into space. Okay. No, no, no. I, we... It was just a turn of phrase. There. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to sell at this point. 
and then buy back in on the dip. So there's another 64. So I'm somewhere around 3%, I think now. No, 2, 230. Yeah, so it's trying to figure out what it's going to do when the cops come for you. Bad stock, bad stock, what you going to do? <laughs> when the SEC comes for you. Yeah, I got out. I got out uh, here. But holy shit, it's going parabolic. Missed out on 10%. Mm. This thing's going to crash unbelievably hard, just like this. You can't fucking push like this. It's nuts. They got the volume. So the reason they can do this is because they got the volume, but it's not sustainable because it requires this much volume constant. The second you lose this heavy volume, it's going to plummet. Yeah. Oh, and AMC is going for the breakout. Okay, so then I'm going to buy back in here. And I'm going to take that baby to here okay yeah so there you go case in point see how big that was that was all artificial push and look at that slap down oh, that'll teach you to FOMO Yeah. Stock, though, is $11, so it's easy for them to have a much higher volume. Look at it go. <sighs> That's a lesson. You've gotten a lot of lessons today on not giving in to FOMO. Because look, that's evidence number three today. Yeah. Uh, price on the left is wrong. It's, let me check. 46.45. You're talking about the one that's on the bottom. It's possible it froze. Yeah, okay, let me fix that. There. Now it updated. 47.05. Good. It fixed itself. Yeah, when I load up Space Engineers, it takes up my whole screen and sometimes it freezes. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, that's good. Where the hell's AMC now? Uh, a, 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 A is for AMC. There it is. Okay, so that would have kicked me out. So I took a 0.4% hit. Okay, too busy looking at big. I need this to be by, there we go. 
Now, do I want to buy in on the bounce? I could try to play the bounce, but I think it's going to roll and go. Yeah, we're starting to show weakness too. Looks like we're both going to roll and go. All right, so now I'm back to missing out on 4% not 10. <laughs> yeah, that was too dangerous. My spidey senses once again, it's like, fuck, no, can't do this. And that's why. The only way you can do a parabolic is the, the volume has to each time get bigger and bigger and bigger. And by the time you're going parabolic, like straight up, the volume needs to dwarf the early curve volume. But see here, we can see the early curve volume. It's not that far, it's about half. So that means the push that's sending it to the Mars has no thrust. And so it's gonna just go flunk back to Earth once gravity kicks in. And so that the volume right here told you the story that it wasn't gonna go, not unless the volume like quadrupled or five times, you know, suddenly. And then at that point, you know, you can't predict that. But the likelihood of that is low. So it's all all about the odds. So if it goes below this white line, I'd stay out of AMC. It'll it'll spend the rest of the day probably below the white line. Big looks like it's gearing up for another push. All right. Okay, I'm gonna buy in on big, and then I'll just have my finger on the sell trigger. Get in early when it's not showing signs of a push, and then sell on the FOMO. Excellent, excellent, Sam. Yeah, I got out here because I wanted to play Space Engineers and not look at the stock, <laughs> and uh, or at least not look at it intently. I did not expect it to fucking floor it again. But, you know, it is what it is. Because, yeah, that's pretty nuts. It was going sideways, and I'm like, ah, she's going to roll. And then, boom, she just floors it. Well, I'm taking a $30 loss. All right. I'll come back to... Space engineers there overkill as soon as uh, the stock starts running and I can look away. Uh, he only tells you about the ones he wins. Me and him were holding when Big dropped from uh, 1050 to 9. <laughs> but we both, uh, I knew it was going to come back. At least to 10, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Already up $300. Mm, now I'm not up much. 100 Come on, push it. Come on. You can do it. 180 190 Oh, yeah, I, I'm holding the bag on uh, AMC for ages now. But we're getting close. We're at 46, and I'm out at 4, 56. Oh, speaking of which, I should sell some covered calls for AMC. Get that out of the way. Um... Ooh, they're pretty pretty good too. Okay, I get fifty cents, and 
K. And I can sell, I think, how much do I have? Account settings, two, 200. Okay, there we go. Another hundred bucks in my bank account. You can sell covered calls and make more money selling covered calls with almost zero risk than you can working a job. <laughs> it's freaking ridiculous. Working is for poor people, for sure. Okay, and let's look at big. Okay, so big's still flirting with going up. All right, I can play some space engineers. I'll go back to AMC in a minute. I just need this to take off so I can look away. Right now the position's not that good. Okay, just roughly, oh, is that stuck again? Let me check. It's probably just because of the stupid screen. There we go. Stock is hovering around that price. But if it doesn't update like once a second, then it's frozen. Yeah. No, oh, the stock's just hovering around that price. Okay. Damn, I got to get out. Good push. Can't tell if it's going to go up or go down. I got my finger on the trigger here. It doesn't know what it wants to do. 
and AMC is breaking out. Good. Okay, it's going up. Oh, that was close. We're testing the bottom there. It's getting it's getting dark. Be right back, I think. <laughs> Okay, let's go back to AMC. Perfect. Shit. Okay, so these are their two bottom lines. I'm in on this but the white line here. So but it's testing. Uh, end of day reporting. Well, fuck it. Alt tab, alt tab. See the pushback? Any pushback? Okay, small pushback. Good pushback. Oof, red slamming them. Green's putting up a good fight though. AMC's doing good. That's a solid pushback. That's an 80%, almost 90. That's 90. It's pretty good. If it ends up above the white line, got 10 more seconds. AMC's doing good. Bounced off the line. That was looking pretty dark, but it didn't go under the line, so at least we get another chance at a run. Ooh, that's nice. Engulfing, and that's going to set off a bull run. Ah, oh, that's a nice turnaround. That was, as <laughs> it got real dark, it broke two support lines, and they bought the dip hard. Sweet. That could have gone south. I was really close to pulling the trigger on that one. Oof. So with that, like it's it's prudent to to sell early, but you can see green has a lot of energy, so you want to give green a chance to recover. So you're going to let it go down past your line and then you'll see if green does anything if they don't do anything then you gotta go but like you saw here green came back a swinging that doesn't happen every time but at least uh you limit your losses if green decides they've given up but green's still in the fight so awesome works for me Yeah, <laughs> it's all good. I just did the same thing overkill. I had no food because I spent all day in the hospital. So it's like, yeah. Yeah, Jamie has earnings today. Hood has earnings in 85 days. Hood's been burning off. Oh, feels good. That's where it belongs in the garbage can. Hood's below us again. Yep, $7 below us. Suck it, Hood.
Oh man, we're still not out of the woods though on big. <laughs> Come on, go into a breakout. You just had an engulfing candle. GT to the F to the O. You piece of shit. Daddy needs his dollars. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I need to seal up engineering. case of accidental explosions, which tend to happen in space. That should do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully it retests 12 before it retests me losing money. I want to get out because it's... I want to go cook some food. Uh, but she really wants to go down. So here it's in this kind of shape. So if it goes long, we should be okay. But if it doesn't go long, it's going to smash into this. But what might happen is it will go, if it doesn't do a curve, which is the likely, it'll go down and hit the, uh, the line and bounce. But because it's already hit the line a few times, we run the risk that this time it will go through because it's tested it. So I don't want it to touch the line, period. If it doesn't touch the line, then it can do this. And if it does that, it's almost guaranteed to do this or this. But if she tests the line, then we're in trouble. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, either way, I just made a bunch of money today, so fuck yes. And I'm glad you got your money back, Sam. Yeah. Because I'm like, I know I'm confident in my abilities. And I'm like, this is going to be the one time somebody follows me. And I just led them off a cliff. <laughs> so I felt a little bad. I'm like, because uh, I don't mind taking risks for myself. But I don't like uh, involving other people. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. You were sweating bullets there. Okay. Come on, Mr. Big. Ah, uh, looks good. It's breaking new highs in the relative short term. Okay. That's good. Access here, access here. Upper catwalk. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, it looks like she's going to go. Looking good. So I can't seal off this area. This is the stairs. The best I can do is start sealing off here. 
and the wheels. Uh, yeah, the wheels are a pain in the ass. This one has the antenna. The best I can do, glass this. This is reinforced. If that's glass, that's airtight. We can make this whole area airtight. We'd have to seal off the engine, so. Which I have pretty much done. Sweet. All right. I'm going to have airtight engineering. That's a first. Usually I can't, based on the designs I make. All right. Good. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. AMC is pushing. And Big is about to push. Ah, life is good. All right, stand down from DEF CON 1. Got my... I took the... I put the safety cap back on the cell trigger. <laughs> All right. Good. Uh, sliding door. I really should make... Actually, I could probably do that. I could code uh, a button that I just flick a switch and it's like, sell. <laughs> It's like an armed button. I should make one. It'd be awesome. Okay. Perfect. Always need an airlock. Um, I want glass here. Could do glass. Actually, let's do glass. Yeah, glass will look better. And do I want to do it here or do I want to do it here? I guess I want to do it here so I can repair these things if I have to. But if these are damaged, then the rest of the ship is fucked. So, uh, yeah, sure, glass. Uh, window. Perfect. Okay, so big looks like it's going down a little. Take a look at AMC in a second. Oh, it looks like we're out of iron. All right. AMC. AMC is doing good. Huge push up. Looks like we're going to test 48. Looks good. When's our next earning? 62 days. Okay. 
So we can still have the U shape. The run up could have been a, a little bit early. We'll see in about a couple of minutes what exactly was the case. Let me just reduce the volume here. So you don't hear endless drilling. Oh, I should check if the LRT is uh, blown up. Okay, so what is Big gonna do? It's kind of undecided here. It's got to pick one of those lines. It's still well away from the fall down point, so we don't have to worry. It's a sudden push. Shit. All right. Wipe this. That's getting aggressive. That is an aggressive sell-off. AMC is also taking a hit too. All right, fingers on the trigger. I want to see a good bounce. That's a decent bounce. Good recovery on AMC. It's a great recovery. So it hit the 50% line and then just floored it. That's good. And we're not going anywhere, so that's dangerous. AMC is going to have a breakout if it keeps going up. So 
That's that's a good. That's good. That's a great push. Excellent. There's AMC about to have a breakout. So 78 and it should pop. So let's buy in. Just ride that one out. That was an excellent push. I'm angry red. Woo, AMC. Okay, I would have gotten knocked out of that one. Although. Hmm. I'm going to stay in. So normally when it goes below, oh, no, I'm out. <laughs> I was going to say, um, normally when it passes this line, it doesn't come back. And so it was like, oh, that was good. And then I'm like, nope, no, nope. I'm not going to be here for the rest of it. Okay. Man, that's a solid fucking push. Liking it. So you're you're still good until it gets under this white line. I was looking to get a quick buck on the pop, but it's going to probably take a bit. And then I can buy back in. Okay. Well, why that's going, since I have money in both... I will watch big. AMC is a long-term play for me. Big is a super short-term play. I don't know anything about the company. Don't give a crap. I'm just trading it. Like a good little stockbroker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trading, uh, I'm drilling ore on Mars while trading stocks on Earth. It's the life. I'm living the life. <laughs> you got your mega yachts? Bitch, I'm on Mars. <laughs> Elon's my neighbor. All right, that's looking much health. Oh, I spoke too soon. I was going to say that's looking much healthier minus that slap, that karate chop. Still good, still good. But it was starting to sharpen up. And I'm like, if this was green, then you're looking at, you know, a really nice run up. Ah, so close. Yeah, there's a recovery. Okay, I gotta keep watching big here. AMC's looking pretty good. Big's unsure about its its life, so I gotta watch it. <laughs> uh 
not looking good on big. AMC still has to go up to about 47.75 to break out. Big will break down on this white line. And I'll also suffer a little <laughs> if it gets there. This not building. So it bounced off that line. Now I need to mine a lot more rocks. Oh, that's why. The rock is not hooked up yet. That'll do. Yeah, I'm still watching it. Okay. Nice. Yeah, that's why I didn't sell. Can't count big out when there's so many people gaming the stock. In a normal stock, that should have collapsed. But this stock's getting gamed. So you got to adjust accordingly. Still got to play it safe in case, you know, they stop playing. But uh, I was hoping the bounce was going to kick us, and it did. So this looks like it's going to roll, but again, till it hits about the 50% mark, which is about here, I wouldn't count it out, and it will probably go up. If it breaks this line, then it'll go down. But... You know, I'm still feeling a bit of an upswing here, even though we're in a negative channel. I think it's just taking a breather, and they're going to try to push again. Ooh, it's on the line. We'll see how that goes. Excellent. Oh, another slap down. I was like, excellent, now it should push. And someone just fucking knifes us. Man, someone is really milking this stock. Let's it go and then just fucking two by fours us right before the breakout. Just let it run. You can sell it later for triple the profit. Christ. <laughs> There's no value in sinking the stock. Let it go. Just let it go. Let me sell before you sell. Come on. <laughs> Uh, God. Uh. 
Did I just trap myself? I did. I'll have to make this better later. What's wrong with my audio? Like you can't hear me? I wasn't talking. Is anyone else having audio problems? Oh yeah, go for a breakout AMC. Okay. Might be a uh, cell phone jamming. Let me know if it gets any worse. Ah, I see. Perfect. She's about to break. Well, we're pretty much at 48. Did we? We got to 49.40 is our high for today. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's our high for today. So we already did 48, and right here probably touched 48. Forgot this wasn't our second high for today. I don't like how it slopes like that. All right. I'm going to bail on my big position so I can make some food. Okay. Well, I can't oh, I can't really fix that at this very second. I'm using my headset and it's possible it's being jammed because it's going through my keyboard. Perhaps the keyboard's being overloaded.
Okay. I want to make some damn food. I'm hungry. Mm, that's nice. Oof. Damn, what a sell off. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that was a big fish sell off right there. Watch Green gobble this all up, though. So that's the drop I was trying to avoid, but it happened too quick. So now I'm in it. So. But I knew something like that was going to happen. Yeah. It's all good. Damn, I'm so hungry. <laughs> it's like I want to go get food, but I can't leave mid-stock. Okay, hopefully that will recover. Thank God for GPS. I can fly in a dust storm and I can't see shit. Okay, so that's not looking good. I'm just going to put myself to cryo so I can go get some food. Or, well, make some food. I sense I already bought some food. Oh, look at that. Channel to channel, eh? Yeah, you're going to have to play it tight, Sam.
That's, uh, looks like a good rebound. So that big fish that bailed out is going to be a buyer. So we're going to see it go funk all of a sudden. Because he got out about here. So he's going to want to buy in as soon as he thinks it's safe. Looking good. We got a llama. Well, a llama with uh, his head being blown off. So normally you'd have a head here, but give him a little tail. <laughs> his green brains, or that's his other ear. So normally that would be red, red, and then green usually on this pattern here. But you see how it makes like a saddle? So it's a green leg, saddle, green leg. Yeah. And the red doesn't go all the way down. The red goes like a bit. But it gaps down for the, the legs so that you have longer green legs. Yeah, there's his two ears. <laughs> Or we can move his head up. If we're going to form a head right here. There we go. And if that's the case, the next one should be green or green plus breakout. As long as this red doesn't get any big. Yeah, here's a little lemon for you to chomp on. And see, broke bottom. But it's trying to hold on to this level right here. So this should be the green breakout. <laughs> He's got a little llama eye. Oof, that's a big red. You're still okay until it goes under that line. Green can push it all the way back. Fourteen seconds. Uh, not looking good. Especially if a big fish decides to sell right now, it'll sink it. Not looking good. Green's two chances to push. They failed. Now, that thing's going to fall. Might bounce off of here, though. All right, I'm going to make myself some food, and I'll come back to me being bankrupt. BRB.
All right, and I'm back. I found some bread. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, the general market looks pretty dead. <clears throat> Let's take a look. That's earlier. Yeah, so they're basically in a big holding pattern. So whenever you see a wiggle, that's a holding pattern. The S&P is showing a little bit of positivity because its wiggle isn't as low, whereas the Dow, it's pretty close. So the Dow's wiggle, yeah, if it continues or even better does this then you get the three kings which is a rising continuation pattern or the three white soldiers and three black crows <clears throat> so these would be white soldiers so this one's probably going to go here at least and then if it breaks it, it might break it by about the same amount. So let's say to here and come down. And then if it's really good, it would bottom out here. So you'd get a nice power end shape. Not really, but it's there. So yeah, we'll see. There, gift basket of lemons. Where's AMC on this list? Do you know? Oh, there it is. Let's get it together. Okay. AMC's hitting a bottom. Oh, that sounds like someone hit the subscribe button. Look at that. 
Good job. Pew, 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 pew. Good reminder, my name. All right. <laughs> it happens when someone subscribes. You get a big pile of emojis. Okay. Just uh, catching up on the tweets. Got to make sure I don't forget my side gig.
Yeah, it's going to probably take a few hits <laughs> to get us through. Need to recharge this headset. Definitely won't be the first try we get through 48. go all right how am i doing on big it's avoiding the lemons but it's not it's not going anywhere fast
Alright, so nothing new. Just getting to the point here. And... Let's see, I guess I could fire back up Space Engineers. I got some time to burn. I guess I can update the uh, message of the day. There we go. Oh. Uh, where are you? Dr. Overkill is apparently trapped and I have to go rescue him. Oh, I know where he is. He probably died and he respawned and he's stuck at the uh, the underground that I built up. Just have to disconnect it. I didn't have time to fix it. I was so hungry. <laughs> Yeah, I figured. Just cut the medical room. Unless you don't have a cutting tool, but you should. Yeah. yeah just saw this thing open. There you go. Easy peasy. Yeah, I gotta figure out a better setup, but uh, I needed food. So that will be a door, door, door. Should work. Could make this all glass. Actually, let's do that.
testing new lows on big. It looks like we're going to have to dig up more rocks. Okay. So we can disconnect this, uh, this tube and we can go get more iron. I guess we should just load up on silver and gold before we do that though. Yeah, get a couple thousand loaded up. Yeah, yeah, we can move over to the iron cobalt. Yeah, I got a nice little tunnel down here that leads to the silver. I thought it was closer. Turns out it's really far away. That's some silver there. Have you walked down to where the silver is? It's quite a, it's quite a walk. <laughs> Dr. Overkill's such a miss, messy eater. I just clean up after him. Look, you're famous. You're on the stream. And he's made out of strips of lettuce, it looks like. Look at that, you're famous. Uh, AMC's taking a dip. Big's taking a push. That's probably the last we're going to get. Oh, actually, let's flip over to Big. That's going to be interesting. So it basically pushed us right back into the uh, pennant. Pennant's not perfect, so just adjust the lines. But you can relatively see what's going to happen. My name says hi to you, Dr. Overkill. Dr. Overkill's just mining away like a good doctor. We're just digging for gold. I cleared this out earlier. I can take this down. We're going to move over to the iron deposits next. Oh, Dr. Overkill says hi, but in the uh, in-game chat. Yeah, that dip was a buy-in opportunity, yeah. I'm still holding. I'm just looking for the breakout so I can get out.
Oh, and look who's back. It's Barry. The psychopathic robot from Archer. It's Barry Bot. AMC? Uh, yeah, it looked like it was rolling. Uh, you're okay until it gets to around 46.93. I'm watching big just at this very second because it's about to break out. Beep, beep. I knew it. It's Barry Bot. He wants to extinguish all human life. So I gotta hook this back up without making a huge mess of things. Yeah, we're out of iron, Doctor. That's why we're going to move. Once we get some gold and, like, just get some gold and silver, I'll move the, the truck over. Okay. Going to have to do this surgically. Um, conveyor. Oh, good stuff. Whoops. Oh, there's glass there. That's apparently I put on backwards. Silly me. Let's go this way. Oh man, come on, big. What I'm doing right now is very garbage plumbing, but just temporary. Okay, let's take a look at AMC. So it's hit the bottom and it looks like it's gonna go into a U shape, but I'm not 100% sure. Tomorrow's Thursday, so we should have a good push by the end of the day.
Um, I don't know on that one. If you would have asked me a month ago, I would say if GME tanks, we tank. But GME has had like astronomically low uh, volume. So it's all but pretty much dead. So it's still a fan favorite, but it's pretty much dead <laughs> from the volume perspective, at least. You know. So I don't know. It's really hard to tell. I would say less than it did previously, though. Perfect. No, it looks like we're out of resources. Okay. There's a light down here. You don't even need your light overkill. It's spotlight. Yeah, fancy. I'm going to have this thing hooked up in a second. Almost there. Then you'll be able to upload all your stuff. Stupid thing. Oh, actually, I could use that. That probably gives me the resources to finish this. Nope. Oh, my game's lagging out. Just teleporting. Okay, now it's all hooked up. Everything is going to go to the refinery now. Sweet. I'll fix it later, but that'll do. And Big is pushing. Delivering that baby. That fine little Lee. So AMC did go into a kind of a U shape, but it didn't, well, it completed the U, so there's the roll. So, eh, actually, yeah, it might be okay. Looking good. Big is surging. I am rolling in dubs. Life is good.
perfect. Okay, just lightening, lightening up the corridors. Okay, so this is engineering. This will all get fixed. Okay, so if you think we have enough gold and silver, we can rip this apart and drive over to the iron. No, oh, this thing's going to run out of batteries in six minutes. Crap. Yeah. Okay, we'll just leave it to rot. So... Okay, big hit. The ceiling. This doesn't have enough power to do anything, so I'm just going to leave solar panels on it, and we'll come back for it. Uh, you're in the way. Step back. Uh, this is going to be um, uh, cargo drilling. It'll save us time if we build a drill ship. Plus, we'll need one for space, because the big ship can't drill. <laughs> Not safely. You'll like, try <laughs> aborting an asteroid. <laughs> so you need a, a little guy. I was going to try to make that uh, circular Earth uh, thing, the tunneler that I was talking about. So that was the, the original idea. But now that I'm turning this into a spaceship so that I can get you to space, uh, that'll take a back seat. Okay, well, once the cargo is uploaded, we can safely disassemble all of this. Okay. Oh, Jesus leg. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at the stock. AMC is still figuring itself out. Big is working up to push out again. All right. Okay, now I can disassemble this. Do, 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 do. Successful gold and silver mining operation. Oh. Oh, and I figured out why the craft kills us, uh, Doctor. 
it's because it's wiggling at uh, 0 0.7 meters per second. So it was what I was talking about the other day where it treats it like uh, you're moving like the speed of light when you sometimes touch the ground. Uh, some type of bug, I guess, is new. Okay, I'll flip over to AMC in a second. Yep. Yep, exactly. Yeah, and then it's not a big deal that the ship is wiggling, but because when you lag, you're inside the ship, so it, it basically does the math and then it fucking murders you <laughs> because it thinks you're moving at, like, light speed, which is why it happens sometimes, not all the time. Anyway, super annoying. Um... Oh, that explains why some things are going a little slower than they should. I gotta hook this up. Oh, what the hell's wrong with it? There we go. Uh, give me a second. There we go. Now everything should be hooked up. Okay, that's green. That goes over here. That's good, that's good. So the refineries are all hooked. All right, guess we can, oh, I need to build a driving seat. Looks like, you're still flying. No. Well, we're just standing sideways, strangely. Okay, let's take a look at AMC. Why well, I got a moment. That's bouncing, and big looks good too. All right, more wait and see. Oh, thanks, Tom. I'm not that important. But I, I'll take a good hail. Good Ave. Imperator. And it was only a day. I woke up, pissed some blood, and then I was like, hmm, I shouldn't be pissing blood. <laughs> and that was the summary of my day. it was good I'm like yeah last thing I need is fucking bladder cancer on top of all my other health issues so I'm like let's get it checked out uh, F 
Oh shit, we're rolling backwards. F P. Okay. F. Okay. There's the stuff. There we go. Put the ore detector back on the front. Okay. Uh, oh shit, lightning. There's lightning on the horizon. Oh, I hate lightning. Um, shit. We need to build a roof before I get murdered. Oh, there's the iron. So let's go, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. Okay. Oh, she's really heavy. Holy crap. I, I don't have enough... Uh, <laughs> this vehicle weighs so much. I don't think I have enough... Propul yeah, I'll take her back to base. Yeah, we need to charge the batteries. Oh my god, she's heavy. We've loaded her up. <laughs> it barely propels. We're going four meters a second. We can outrun this storm. <laughs> you wanna you wanna get out and push? <laughs> I don't think it'll help though. Oh, we're starting to get some speed. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Gold is indeed heavy. Yep. We also added like a gazillion tons of metal, right? All the walls. I can uh, add more power to the wheels now that we're heavier. Oh, hello, Tom. Yeah, sorry. I was just talking to Dr. Overkill. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm apparently I'm okay. It was just a little concerning, you know, blasting out some blood where it shouldn't be going. So, oh, it looks like we outran the storm. Also looks like Overkill killed himself. <laughs> Body's glitching out. Ah, he died again. <laughs> Twice. Or 1.6 kilometers. Oh, there's iron here. Nice. Oh, yeah, this is the iron and cobalt mine. All right, let's charge up our batteries, and then we'll come back out here. Yeah, this is the Dr. Iron GPS. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, it was just a kidney stone. Kidney stones are supposed to hurt. Like, they're supposed to be painful. It wasn't that painful. But I guess it did some damage on its way out. I think we outran the storm. Okay. It's the fun part. Oh, I think we're too heavy to get up. Okay, let's try straightening it out. Okay, let's try flooring it. Vroom. Vroom. Oh, yeah, we're hitting. Oh, that's going to blow up. Park, park. <laughs> we're too too low to the ground. Okay, let's see if I can fix that. Yeah, definitely no pain. Okay. Okay, added more power to the wheels, but they're slipping. Yeah, we definitely need more wheels. We should be higher off the ground now. There we go. Oof, don't flip. All right, what are we stuck on now? Oh, it's the piping underneath. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can take the ore detector right off. It's all good. The piping underneath is going to get hit next. How's the wheels? I have the brakes on, but they're still friggin' driving. I think I can get up there. Okay, let's floor it. Let's punch it, Chewy. From so yeah, the middle bottoms out. Okay, I'm going to see if I can lift us up even higher. We weigh too much. Uh... Okay, it's about as high as I can get us. Basically turned off the suspension. Mm. Uh, whatever. Now it's the, the vents underneath. If you want to undo the vents underneath. Ooh, almost backflipped. Just get the vents that are underneath. Just disconnect them. We'll put them back on when we're out. <laughs> I 
We're too fat. Yeah, sure. I'll put you in. Okay. I'm just trying to park this uh, super heavy vehicle. Uh, yeah, and we're on. Oof. Okay. Now the fun part. Oh, you got to raise the piston up. Because we're too high on the ground now. You just go into the pistons thing and set it uh, a meter or so higher. Uh, let me just double check where we are. Okay, I got to bring it back. Oh, that's pretty close. Okay, I just need to bring it back. It looked a lot higher. Perfect. Okay, let's slowly reverse. So I got to bring it back. Can't see where the hookup is. So I can't tell if I need to turn one way or the other. So I need to go forward and slightly to the right. Okay. So parking release forward and slightly to the right. Forwards and slightly to the right. That's too far. I can't see. Here. Here, if you want to try it, I'll direct you, because at least I have voice. Here, hop in the driver's seat. Okay, stock's going to break out. I'm going to make more money. Cook Dr. Overkill's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> okay, forward to the right. Yeah, I'll direct you. So you need to reverse uh, to the right side. So turn your wheels to the the right, and then, yeah, you'll swing back. Yep, keep going, keep going. Okay, go forwards and to the right. Whoa, 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 too far. Forwards to the right. Remember, there's a delay. Forwards and to the right. You got to keep, yeah, you got to get more over to the right-hand side. Yep, keep going. You probably have to keep zigzagging, yeah. Still, keep going. Still more. Getting very close, though. Yeah. Keep going. I mean, to the right, not driving forwards so off into oblivion. <laughs> okay. So then bring it back. Uh, really close, really close. Uh, it didn't hook up. Okay, forwards and to the right. Forwards and to the right. Okay, so close. Okay, I bring her back slowly. Yeah, just keep going back. All right, stop, 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 stop. Okay, 
you are really close, but it won't hook up. So let me just raise it. That's perfect. Um, piston. Where's piston? Piston. Maximum distance. Let's bring it up. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> just rammed it. Excellent. Well done. And I'll lock her in. Locked in. Boom. All right, good. Now I can focus on stocks. I'm going to chill in the cryo for a sec. There we go. Perfect. Oh, that was a pain in the ass to park. <laughs> so AMC broke bottom. Slight recovery. But it's just burning off its run up. Big looks like it's going to go into a second push. I'm going to make some money. Well, for BBIG, you uh, you don't have a head and shoulders if uh, if it's higher. It has to be lower, and usually, um, yes, Doctor Overkill. The cameras for the base you wouldn't be able to access unless we had a remote uh, hookup. If you have cameras on the vehicle, you can use them. Um, The easiest thing to do is you put two lights and then you color code the ground. So as you're driving and you see red, you know you're on course. And then you uh, use a camera that faces downwards. But I figured we won't be parking that many times. So uh, no, not big on my to do. Oh, speaking of to-do, I should check your to-do list. I took off gold, right? Yep, find gold was on that list, but I managed that, that one. Oh, I see. Uh, two day chart. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, it's too too early to call. But if this goes and makes, you know, a W, right? Then you you're looking at a crash. If this doesn't go down, and actually floors it, then it might form another head and shoulders here. But uh, yeah, it's too early to uh, call that one. Yeah, because you're looking like you're going into a power end shape, which is just you're going, it pushes you sideways, and then you continue on your merry way. So we'll see. We will see. Either way. Oh, that's AMC. Sorry. That was AMC. I thought that was big. But um, hold on. Let me look at big. Oh, I needed those indicators. Volume. Okay, so on AMC, if we look at the five day. Yeah, so for AMC, you got to run up. So this is easy money. Burn down. You got a midpoint, which is like has a crown built into it. So then if this gets challenged, you're going to look at a burn off here and then potentially unable to make it up a second time. And then you get head and shoulders or the crown shape. Um, but, I mean, 
that's a lot of speculation, but this will probably complete. This crown here will probably compete, complete. If it gets severe, this part will happen for sure. And then this part is chance or, you know, how the market feels. But yeah, you definitely, um, you have to play it safe because if this gets challenged, it's going to drop. Same as this. So you have to watch. And I mean, if you really go even further, right, there's this run up. So you could challenge that, but then that's a lot of things going wrong. So likelihood goes down. But definitely on the daily, you can see a crown right there. So that has the potential. Or initially you had a parabolic, this, and a curve or parabolic, and this is the recovery, and then comes the curve. We don't really know the time frame, but the general shape is this, uh, that. That's the shape you're looking for, but you don't know over what time frame. But the key is a parabolic run-up, a dastardly crash, a recovery that's around 50 to 80%, generally then another crash that doesn't exceed the other crash and then a roll and that's usually how it plays out and then of course the good example of that is here right the bottoms didn't exceed this one went up a hundred percent let's see you can see it right here there's the go and there's the roll it goes up and it rolls so the spacing's a little off but it's there and then the other one is the big one right here. So same thing, run up, come down. There's the roll right there, right? Um, and where's the other one, June? Yeah, June, here we go. It's a little hard to see. Oh, this is Vico Ventures, sorry. That's why it's so hard to see. I'm getting my things mixed up. So there's one right there. So up, down, roll right or up down roll and this is the other one right here so up down and then this goes up again down rolls yeah uh, but if i switch to like the 15 minutes or something and we went back to january we'd see it a little bit more pronounced Anyways, that's what you're looking for. That's usually what happens. So there's there it is again, right? It looks very similar to this. So this part here is a little wider now than the last one. See, this is a little wider, but we're going through the same process. Now, this is nice. I wouldn't have expected the run up, but you can think of it as this went up and then this is the dome shape. So this was too low artificially. And if that's case, you'll see that it won't be able to get any higher, and then eventually it's going to collapse. Yeah, and so this was just an oversell for whatever reason. I wasn't here that day. And then, you know, it all fixes itself out in the wash, right? Oh, what the hell just blew up? Oh, I just, oh, we just got hit by lightning. <laughs> God, fucking lightning. Our cryo rooms just got blued up. Oh, man. It tried to strike Dr. Overkill, but didn't hit him. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, I'll have to fix this in a second. But anyway, so the, there you go. That's why I ask, and yeah, that's exactly it. And I don't mind, uh, I don't mind, well, teaching, not that I really do much teaching, but I don't mind uh, adding my experience. Yeah.
what else is on fire? Oh, okay. At least the truck didn't get slapped by lightning. Just the main part of the base. Oh, so much lag. Okay, perfect. Doing some renovating, courtesy of a lightning bolt. <laughs> All right, perfect. Um, let me just check our power consumption before I go into cryo. Perfect. All right. Good, 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 good. Uh, Got to put some armored blocks on our heads so we don't die in our sleep. Courtesy of Martian lightning. Yeah, I'll get back to the stock in one second. I was not expecting to get hit by lightning. Normally the lightning hits you directly, but in this case it was trying to kill the doctor. And I was spared. Yeah, I tried to hit him and hit the cryo chamber above him. Lucky bugger. Okay, now I can focus again. Perfect. So let's get back to the one minute. So this has got a crown shape forming, potentially. Now this is easy come money. This is not so much, which is why we had a pause here. So this went up real fast and then it came down and hesitated. So for us to break this, we need to go above this white line. If we break this, then the crown shape is defeated. If we hit this and come down, then that will cause the crown shape. <laughs>
can't see shit. Okay, so AMC is testing goodenough.com Good, that should get the batteries topped up. Perfect. Uh, they gotta be on. All right, sweet. So Biggs looks like it's gonna push, so we'll keep an eye on it. AMC is testing to go lower, so we can just ignore that one. Now well, there's the push. How long till these batteries are charged? Ugh, 17 human hours. That's... Till the sun comes out. Okay.
All right. Good. So that will keep on doing what it's doing. I can disconnect for now. Okay, excellent. Yeah, Space Engineers. It's, when it goes on sale, I, I recommend it. It's nice and relaxing. Later today, we'll, or I will, or Dr. Overkill and I will strap on uh, big thrusters. Then we'll start charging the hydrogen. That'll take about half a day. And then we can go to space. Oh, and I'm going to be 500 to $1,000 richer. If, oh, yeah, big. Keep going. Yeah. Making the money. Okay. Yeah, so now this is the top of our channel. Okay. <laughs> now, oh, I'm going to give him the big thrusters. Yeah. Oh, no, they're huge. They're massive thrusters. So you're going to have to try to break orbit, and you're going to weigh a ton, so you got to put a lot of thrust in there, you know, got to get a lot of leverage. Yeah. Well, Big's been at least uh, active enough. AMC's kind of uh, gone sleepy. A good start to the day, or at least uh, uh, after 11. When I came back, sorry. Big is about to go for a power play. Bum, bum. Bum 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 bum. Forty seven seven. That's a uh... It's a little bit high. 70, 47, 74. Right here. And then Tom is 48. 22. Okay. Well, it's going to keep on thinking about making me money. Oh. <sighs> Oh, and I worked on, um, over the weekend, I worked on the um, hardware that I'm working on. And I got the uh, the radio transmitter working at a bit of distance. And it's pretty cool. You tap a key and it transmits. I mean, it's real basic, but you're transmitting data over radio. To me, that's still kind of novel. I can type on my keyboard and watch it appear somewhere else because it's transmitting my keyboard presses. 
I know it's nothing new, interactive terminals. That's exactly what, what it is. But uh, it was interesting for me. I was like, woo wee, fancy. <laughs> Now the problem I have is the transmitter occupies some of the ports that my screen needs and I have to figure out how to make that work. So that is problem of the moment. Or at least I think that's what's wrong. So. Okay. All right, let's go back to big and it's going to break out. Okay. <clears throat> yep, so for those that are new, we take end of day bets. So after three o'clock, I'll take your bets. And you're betting on where you think AMC will be at the end of the day. Forty-seven two five. Augie. I'm going to go with here. I'm going to take the bottom channel. <laughs> okay.
Yep. Four, six, five, five. Oh. Oh, well, apparently my code is not what's wrong. I thought I wired it up wrong, but it's not working. Ah, so there's something wrong. Looks okay. Unless I forgot quotes. Yeah, should be good. Oh, did I forget Barry? Oh, I did forget Barry. Okay, so it tried to go out and it's burning.
bouncing off the bottom. And Big is holding on. I could see it going up to Barry. I'm not too optimistic that AMC is going to break this. Although they do do like to do uh, last minute run ups. <clears throat> so you never know. But if we do a last minute run up, I would say Augie, slightly over Augie would be my guess. Is that good or bad? I don't know where Tesla was. Wasn't Tesla at $1,000 at one point? <clears throat> I haven't been following the Tesla saga, so I don't know if it's good or bad. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it got close to a thousand. So, okay. Yeah. So, 750 is not bad, but it's like going from 10 to $7.50. It's like. Because, unless you got. Excuse me. At least you got if you got in before it ran up in price, then okay. But most people probably have bought in when it's uh, in the triple digits. Yeah, I mean at least Tesla is rolling out cars now, because they were establishing that price. Like I remember they were at five hundred, and they delayed their cars for like two years, and it's like holy crap, <laughs> like. Goodwill is only going to go so far. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, at the very least, sell the earnings. Yeah, I'd get out. And if the earnings turn to be awesome, then get back in. But chances are, it's going to be a rush to the gates. Yes. 
partly why earnings are always a double-edged sword. It's like, I want to be in for the jump, but I don't want to be in for the crash. And so I generally get out on earnings unless I have a very strong feeling that they're going to be good or the days leading up to it are really good. There's no point getting out because if it's bad, you only lose like a couple of percent. But when it's on the fence, it's like, uh, ooh, uh, <laughs> I try to get out of the way. It's too much risk. Okay. Hmm. That which was working is no longer working. Okay, so this is AMC, big is crashing. <sighs> well, I still made a good deal of money today, 400 bucks. 400 bucks every day, not bad. If I can do that, <laughs> I generally don't make 400 every day. But I should start. I should start trying to just nickel and dime my way to. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta want to retire soon. wonder why I was working yesterday. Not working today.
Oh, yeah, no problem. Um, so boiler bands are pretty useful, um, but they have to be calibrated often. If they're set up right, they're good. Um, but they they have to match the personality of the stock, and I like them, but I don't have the time to constantly adjust them as they fall out of um, flavor. Partly because I watch the minutes. So if you have them on the dailies or the weeklies, um, they're, if once they calibrate them, they're probably not going to fall out for a couple of days or a week. But in the minutes, uh, if the personality changes, if the volume changes, then it, they're toast. So uh, they're they're not bad. Uh, basically, when you get good at just spitballing the stock, um, you're always building those boiler bands in your head. So you're you're putting a you know um, a channel on everything. Um, I tend to do straight lines. Because you can see how it interacts with straight lines more often than a curved line. But what the tops and bottoms are telling you is kind of a, much like a VWAP. They're telling you that as time progresses, the tolerance is going to be less and less and less. And then it's going to explode if there's a sudden change. And that's relatively right all the time. If there's a sudden change, then you're most likely looking at a breakdown or a breakup, which would escape the boiler bands. So they're telling you that when it hits the line, it looks at a reversal. If it doesn't get in a reversal, it looks like it's going to explode. But you should be doing that in your head, um, and which is why I moved away from them, because uh, they're too. it's too slow to have it mathematically on the screen. Yeah, but I do like boiler bands. I definitely do. They are the right concept, just too much work. Yeah, just like VWAP is is good too. Um, you just have to watch you don't overfit. But VWAP is essentially what I'm doing all the time. I'm looking at the volume and I'm looking at the reaction. But you can't illustrate that with a line. You can't just go, oh, because of the volume, it should be here. It's it's not the case. So that's why I don't use moving averages um, for the same reason. Like the only moving average you need here, right? The stock's going this way. The moving average probably looks like, I don't know, something like like this, something stupid. Oh, actually, no, it's lagging, so it would be like that, right? It's like, ooh, how is that useful? So you draw a straight trend line. You're above the trend line, but you're within this channel. If you break this, you know you're doing something because that's part of the U. That's also above a whole bunch of support lines. So you know there's something here, and you don't need some silly average to tell you that is you can just immediately see it with any basic lines, right? Right there. And then you've got another one right here, right? So anyways, it's whatever works for you, go with it. Yeah. Can you do 4690? Uh, yeah, I can do whatever you want. Done. All right. Is there any more bids for the end of the day? Yeah, if you're looking at the six month, boiler bands on the six month would probably be nice. And I would have them fairly tight. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, it's fun to try things out, you know. 
like here I can uh can put up uh there there I can put up some moving averages right so some people argue where the crossover point is you'll get a change but you see this one missed by a minute right so here's the crossover point because the short term and the long term run into each other when it goes up, right? This one was off again by two minutes because they're lagging indicators. They can't predict the future, but people go back and they're like, oh, see, see, it's like, yeah, but you missed the boat by two minutes and look where the boat is now, right? So, yeah. Like this one, holy crap. So you're like, oh, look, the lines are about to cross. Okay, this is my cue to buy, right? And you've already missed, you know, all of that. You know, maybe you got in on some of that. Yeah. But, yeah, anyways. But it's nice to, to have the lines up sometimes because idiots use these lines, you know, and they just use the defaults too, right? So you, you're getting insight into like more uh, simple traders. So advanced traders would have their own numbers and have everything set up. But when you're using defaults, that's what the pedestrians are using. Holy Christ, what a push. Look, was there any indication that push was coming? No, not at all. <laughs> See? useless ass lines yeah i like this one the ma ribbon this one's kind of cool so this has everything up to uh 55 and so this kind of gives you a feel of the ebb and flow of a stock i think these sort of things are much more useful on slow dead stocks like when it takes weeks and or days for the 60 to catch up <laughs> not uh two minutes fucking flooring it <laughs> christ these guys are retarded and i'm losing on big uh the price shouldn't be stuck 48.15 let me check 48 no it's not stuck No, the price was just not uh, going anywhere. All right, so Shane, yeah, it just just floored it. Shane. Yeah, so bounced off TP, which is one of the, over here. But uh, yeah, here's all your oscillators. That's probably really hard to see. Relative strength indicators. But again, uh, the RSI is not too bad. But again, it's all lagging. I don't know if the RSI, the Scotch RSI might not be uh, a lagging indicator. This one's kind of cool. So this one has uh, pivot points. So it marks the tops. And so you get an idea of, okay, buy here, sell here, buy here. I haven't used this one for long, but it's pretty, pretty fun. I think it attaches these after the fact, but it's also generating your support and resistance lines. See here. So it's doing uh, traditional auto pivots. So it's doing your, your support and your resistance off, off open. And you can see the first support line is accurate. See that, right? 
and the first major resistance line, we haven't even got to. So you could pl these are more macro, but that's pretty fun. I do enjoy that one. Uh, not this one. All right, let's go back to default. And right, let's just put the three lines up. It's easiest. Volume went through the roof. Okay. Yeah. But then, yeah, see, unsustained volume. So this is a half, so now it's showing weakness. Oh, it looks like it's going to go try for round two. Does it have it in it? Well, I sold covered calls for 56. Yeah, 56. So if she hits 56, it's going to uh, get me back to day trading as well. Now, we're not going to go from here to 56, but those are good to the end of the week. Man, people must be loading up on options and letting the people just make them money. almost smart to try to time the 1530 just sink two million dollars in wait for 1530 and then let the money roll in damn That's true. Could be a GME earnings leak. Let's see how GME's doing. That's a good point. GME is surging. Yeah. They started at 1525. So its estimate is garbage. But yeah, people are uh, taking bets. Ooh, excellent. All right, so it's going to be either Augie, GameStonk, TP, or possibly Shane. It's 
going to fall probably within this spectrum here. It's looking good. Welcome back, Barry. Yeah, I usually disable that, but I forgot this time. 48, 55, 48. There you go. Oh, who's this supposed to be? Who's 4879? 4876 is Roman. That's who's supposed to be. Okay. So never mind. It's Roman and Barry and TP are going to be fighting it out. It's all good. This is a nice push. Fortunately, Big died on the operating table. So now we should get a crash and then something like this. This gets crushed, then we can continue up and the crash will be tomorrow morning. 52 after hours. <laughs> It's looking good. Just waiting for it to wiggle. I'll stop looking at big as it's not going anywhere. So our end of day finish line is here. So we're still holding off the weakness. So we could do a roll and a this. Since it doesn't look like we're going to do a, a crash and a bounce. Because green's doing a good job of holding back red. So red's going to start ramping up as we get closer to the line. Which means the line that was doing this is going to start to roll. And then eventually it's going to curve. 
if as red is ramping up, if, or sorry, as red is ramping up, right, if green, which is right now strong, starts to turn and like give up, that's when you get the sudden drop because red is unopposed. So for a short term, they're equal. So you get a flat line. And then at some point, red wins, so it rolls. And then if green gives up, it plummets. But in the background, red is doing this. It's ramping up power. So you should expect more extreme reds. And if you don't get extreme reds, it means green's putting up a fight. Yeah. And so here you got medium volume and you got a fairly large red. So that's an indication that green might have given up. Yeah. Let's see. So that's a no volume, decent push from green. So that shows weakness in red. Second push, low volume. So more weakness in red. Okay, they're duking it out. No, it looks like green's the weaker one. So every time red's countered, the volume hasn't moved. So green's using way more energy to go up than red is to go down. And that means red's in control. So that means the second green slips, red's going to just slap it into oblivion. But it doesn't mean they can't push. But if they overextend themselves and they can't keep pushing, then they're going to get jumped. Poof. So that was a moderate slap. See the volume? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Case in point in the same second I said it. Yeah. So anyways, that's that's what the volume was telling me was basically that right there. Because that's what happens. That's why I do technical momentum trading, because that, to me, allows me to get out, you know, seconds, hopefully, <laughs> before shit hits the fan. It's not perfect, but it works for me. Yeah. So this is a decent push. But then you see now it's moving about half of the red with almost 80% of the volume. So that means red's just pummeling it. So green's not out of the woods yet. And the next support line is much lower, white that white line. So where G-Stonk is, the next support line. So it's difficult to try to stop mid-flight. They're putting up a good fight, though. Red might burn out, allowing green some temporary gains. So this is no resistance from red yet. The volume is zero, and we're moving. They might get a pop, a sudden jump of green, if red really lets off. Or they're going to get karate chopped. And they're not moving, so karate chop is likely. D 
didn't smoke them. We're holding on. Barely. <laughs> now let's try that again. Now that Red used up potentially all their energy in a failed karate chop. Okay, low volume again. Can we make make some distance before Red wakes up? Uh, it's almost ready to pop. Come on. A couple cents more. Red doesn't wake up. You got it. Let's do it. Uh, it's taking too long. Red's going to wake up. Oh, nice. And there's red. But that red wasn't strong, so they might they might get this. If green can just do a quick push, it will pop because it's going over the uh, the two lines. Come on. Just dump some money, medium fish. Nope. There's the red pounce. Yeah. It went too long. It was close, though. Yeah. Okay, so it hit the first part of the support. No bounce. That was a really shitty bounce, so it's going to keep going. Yep. Down she goes. Dive, dive, dive. <laughs> so the bottom support line is forty seven forty five or so. struggling didn't know which way that one would have went i'm like uh it should be going down but green is really really trying to stop the tide so it's a little uh a little hard for me to tell Yeah, see, it doesn't look like green can stop it. So it's going to bleed out to the next support line, which is 4740-ish. Small push. Unsustained. Oh, second push. Hard to tell. It's sustained. Not enough volume, though. 
but it, you can see on the ticks on the bottom, it pushed a second time, and this time it stayed floating high. There's a third push. And there's red. Red didn't bring it all the way down. Then green's going to push again. So there's the push. That was a shitty push. So now it's red's turn. Red's doing nothing yet. Another push slightly from green. Yeah, red's going to pounce on them. This is taking too long. Oh, there's the pounce. Yeah, just look at the ticks. Boom, huge volume, all red. Yeah. Yeah, you basically get like, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute. And if it takes too long, then it's you get jumped. I start to get squirrely if the stock doesn't move in 30 seconds. Yeah. Uh, it made about four attempts, maybe five attempts to try to get up, but it doesn't have it. Well, I need it to crash to forty six seventy so I can uh I, I can win. <laughs> mm. Let's see, we don't have a lot of time left, so you'll probably stop on the next support line, which will be just above Augie. So G Stonk is the support line just under him, which is why we're stopping right now. So if it breaks G Stonk, it's going to be just above Augie. So there's a support line right here and a support line right here. So it looks like it's landing on the G stonk support line. <laughs> oh no, no, you're out of the race. It's not happening, Freedom. Now we might get super lucky and it just goes right up to Barry. We got how many minutes left? 10, five, five minutes left. Yep. I'm still up uh, $300, but I'm currently down $220. <laughs> so not bad. I made a few dollars today. So I'm uh, up, well, I would be up 500 if uh, I didn't buy in that last time on big. Now I'm down almost, oh wait, yeah. So I'm up 300, down 200, so I have 500 total. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Jeez, big is at 308 million volume. Is it the volume leader for today? Yeah, holy crap. 308. Okay, so now it's going to test Augie. So the support lines should be right about there. There's the bounce. So that proves there's a line. Well, that's a giant fly. Man, 
Some of these flies are big. This one's like the size of a bumblebee. Christ, that's big. This must be all the dog crap around here. Making mega flies. Um... Yeah, so the for BBG, I would think, yeah, they're going to... Um, this is kind of an oversell. People just want to get out and get their money. It's also like pretty much the completion of the crown shape, right? You know, it's not a really great crown shape, but let's say it is. Regardless, once it touches the bottom, it's going to have a reversal because this pattern's over, so it can start a new one. Now, it could just continue down, right? Especially if it goes any lower, if it does this, it would challenge this, and then it's going to drop like no one's business. It's going to lose all this. But I think what you'll see is that this is just a temporary pullback, and it will jump up tomorrow morning and do the same cycle. Or jump up and then do something like that. I don't think people are ready to give up on playing the game on big. At least not yet. Not with that kind of volume. 308 million? That can't be their average. Yeah, their average is 177. So, no, I think that's going to continue into tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, shit, I deleted all the lines. Oh, no, wait, that's big. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so it's bouncing off of Augie. Now it's below the support line, so now you might be able to clench it FOC. You got four minutes, three minutes, two minutes. So if it plummets for two minutes, which I don't think it will, I think the last minute will be strong green. You'll get it. Because <laughs> it bounced off of Augie's line. That was this. And then it fell back down. Now it's getting rubber banded. Yeah. Okay, last minute. Here we go. So I expect them to floor it. Usually what happens. But if they floor it in the wrong direction, you have a chance. Okay, one minute and 10 seconds. Oh, damn. All right, I'll put the 50-50 line so we can... It's going to be here. And the 50% line for them is probably here. <clears throat> so this is still Augie's for a fair, fair deal. Okay, last 40 seconds. Anyone's game. Okay, at this point, it's looking like it's going to be Augie. They got 30 seconds to drop. Oh, oh, I spoke a second too soon. I was going to say they only got now 10, 15 seconds to drop 30 cents. Almost did it. 10 seconds. 9, 5, 4, 3, 2, and it's Augie's. Well done. That was close. It's close. Yeah, I expected this kind of push at the end, but they got a almost got a drop in there. Perfect. Well, that was not a bad day. Regular day. Good finish. Boom. Yep. And where did my BBG go? My big Brazilian butt. Uh, okay, so it almost tested Oblivion. Oof, it is 10 cents away from Oblivion. <laughs> All right, well, good stuff. All right, well, that concludes another day. I'm going to go uh, 
drill ore and then take a nap. Thank you all who came out. And I'll have the better microphone set up tomorrow. Yeah, well, I hope so too, because sitting in a hospital for eight hours sucked. <laughs> God, is it boring. Yeah. All right. Well, see ya.